Hi there everybody, welcome to Vinyasa Flow. Uh, my name is Maz and I'm going to be guiding you through this practice today. So before we start, just make sure to grab any props that you like to have with you for your practice. Uh, maybe a couple of blocks, if you don't have blocks you can use books. And it might also be nice to have with you um, either a bolster or a couple of cushions, something nice and soft and supportive. And we're going to start today by coming to a comfortable seated position. So maybe sitting with the legs crossed, if that's good for you. If that doesn't feel good for you, feel free to adjust. You might come to sit onto the heels and it might be that you want to sit up onto a block to give you a little bit of extra elevation. So take a moment to just find that comfortable seat, grounding equally through both left and right sit bones, gently lengthening from the ground all the way up through to the crown of the head. And then just bring your hands to rest lightly onto your knees or into your lap. If it's comfortable for you to do so, allow your eyes to softly fall closed and let yourself become still to begin with. And we'll just take a couple of minutes to, to arrive, to settle in. Becoming aware of how you've arrived onto your yoga mat today. How does the body feel? How is the breath? How is your mood? How is your energy level? Where is your mind? What thoughts are entering into your awareness? Are there any emotions accompanying those thoughts? So just taking this time as we begin to observe, to study, to, to be curious about what has arrived with you onto your mat today. Resisting the urge to judge or dismiss or disregard. Just allowing whatever is there to, to be there. Meeting yourself where you are in this moment. And then lightly join your hands together. Bring your thumb knuckles to rest at the center of the chest, that energetic heart center. Take a moment here to set your intention for your practice today. And place that intention into the space between the palms of your hands. You might also like to to bring to mind a person or group of people to whom you would like to dedicate your practice today. Keeping that dedication close to your heart also. And let's open up the space with a soft om. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Oh. Gently release your hands, blink your eyes open and start to find your way to all fours. So if you're sitting onto a block, just pop it over to one side. Coming to your tabletop position, spreading your fingers wide, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Gently press the ground away from you with your hands, slightly doming the upper back. Draw your belly button towards your spine, tuck your toes under and start to lift up into your first downward facing dog, sending your hips high and gently encouraging your heels down towards the ground. Find a little bit of movement in this first downward facing dog, maybe pedaling the heels, moving the hips, raising a leg, taking a three-legged dog, whatever feels good, whatever feels intuitive. Notice how your body feels today. Is there anywhere in the body that's a little bit tense or tight? Is there anywhere that feels relaxed and at ease? Gradually start to slow your movements down and find stillness in your downward facing dog. 
As you inhale, lift your heels, look towards your hands, and then start to tiptoe your feet towards the front of the mat, slowly, step by step. Arriving with the feet hip distance, take an inhalation, lengthen and look forward. As you exhale, soften your knees, come into a forward fold, allow the head to hang heavy. Take your hands to your opposite elbows and gently sway your torso from left to right. Keeping your feet grounded, keeping your knees soft, gently swaying the body. And then slowly come back through to center. Bring the back of your hands down onto the mat. Soften your knees a little bit more and softly bring your chin towards your chest. From there, start to slowly walk your hands all the way up the front of your legs. Slowly, slowly, slowly unfolding, bringing yourself all the way up to standing. Once you arrive all the way up, release the arms by the sides. Take a deep inhalation, draw your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Exhale, slide your shoulders all the way back and down. Let's do that once more. Inhale, draw the shoulders up. Exhale, slide the shoulders all the way back and down. From there, step to your mountain pose at the top of your mat. Feet grounded, legs active. Gently start to lift up through the kneecaps, engage the quads, internally rotate the thighs and lengthen your tailbone down towards your heels. Arms by your sides, energy through the fingertips. Close down your eyes just for a moment and start to become aware of your breath. Breathing in and out through your nose, gently contracting the back of your throat to find ujjayi breath. So breathing in and out, with a soft ocean sound, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your nose, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Blink, open your eyes. Inhale, raise your arms, reach high. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Soften your knees if you need to. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, place your hands down. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Come to a high plank. Take an inhalation to stabilize. As you exhale, bend your elbows and start to come all the way down to the mat in a straight line. Drop your knees if you need to. Once you get all the way down, untuck your toes, inhale, lift your chest, come to your cobra, draw your shoulder blades together, exhale, lower your chest down, inhale, come to all fours, exhale, send your hips back towards your heels, child's pose, inhale, come to all fours, tuck your toes, exhale, lift up, downward facing dog, take an inhalation here. As you exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step your right foot to the front of your mat. Exhale, step your left foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach high, lengthen through the side ribs. Exhale, release your arms by your sides, mountain pose. Keep moving, inhale, raise your arms, reach high. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, place your hands. This time, step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. Come into your high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly come all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift your chest. Draw the elbows in. Cobra. Exhale, lower your chest down. Inhale, come to all fours. Exhale, sit back, child's pose. Inhale, all fours. Tuck your toes. Exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Taking an inhalation here. With your exhalation, knees bend, look forward. Inhale, step your left foot to the top of your mat. Exhale, step your right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach high, gaze to your thumbs. Exhale, release, bring your arms by your sides. Come to your mountain pose. 
bend your knees, inhale, raise your arms, sit low into your chair pose. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, place your hands, step back to your high plank. Take an inhalation to stabilize, drawing the navel towards the spine. Exhale, either lower all the way down or come halfway down for your chaturanga. Inhale, coming into your back bend, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, lift your hips, come to your downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your right leg high, come to your three legged dog. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right armpit. Shift the weight forward, keep the arms straight. Inhale, re-extend your right leg, come to your three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Left heel stays lifted. Inhale, sweep your arms up, come to your high lunge. And we're staying in here. So left heel lifted, left leg is nice and straight. You draw your left hip forward as you gently draw your right hip back. So gently drawing the inner thighs together, reaching high through the arms, staying with the breath. Let's take one more beautiful breath in here. And then on an inhalation, start to open up to your warrior two. So grounding the outside edge of your left foot parallel to the back of the mat. Keeping that nice deep bend in your right leg. Both thighs spiral open. The tailbone lengthens down towards the ground. Pressing actively and equally through the fingertips of both hands. Breathing here. Every, every breath, maybe you find a little bit more space in that warrior. Let's take one more lovely breath in here. And then as you inhale, straighten your right leg. Maybe shift your left foot in slightly. Reach your right arm forward as you send your left hip back. So really lengthen through the right side ribs. And then as you exhale, bring your right hand down, send your left hand high, coming into your triangle pose. And we want to maintain that length through the right side ribs. We've got two straight legs, the kneecaps lift, the quads are engaged. Maybe start to take your gaze up towards that left hand, rotating the chest, breathing in here. Steady, even breath. That right hand might come onto a block if you feel like you need a little bit of support. We have one more breath here. And then as you inhale, come all the way up to center. Raise the arms, reach high. We're gonna adjust the feet. So we're gonna turn both heels in, toes out. And then as you exhale, start to bend both knees, join your palms, bring your thumb knuckles to the center of the chest. Coming into a goddess pose. Tailbone lengthens down towards the ground. Both thighs spiral open. Gently press the thumbs to the center of the chest to keep the chest lifted. Breathing in here, finding space into the groin, space into the hips. Let's take one more breath. Maybe you find a little bit more space, allow those hips to drop a little bit lower. And then with your next inhalation, lift your hips slightly. As you exhale, we're gonna bend into the left leg and come into that side lunge, Skandasana. So the right leg is straight, we bend into that left leg. Using the strength of the legs, inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, take that Skandasana to the right. Flex your left foot, press that left heel into the mat. Maybe you stay here with the palms together, pressing the right arm against the right leg. Maybe you take your right hand out to the side. Inhale, send your left hand high and rotate the chest. You can stay there or maybe you're gonna take your bind, wrapping your right arm behind your right leg, bringing the left hand behind the back and taking that bind behind you, drawing your left shoulder back and down. Keeping that left leg nice and active. Keep rotating the chest. Only go as low as feels good for you. We're gonna take two more breaths in here.
If you have taken the bind or taken that opening variation, bring your palms back together. Slowly start to turn to frame your right foot. Pivot onto the ball of the left foot. Exhale, step back, lower down, take your vinyasa. Inhale, your back bend, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, bend your knees, step or float your feet outside of your hands. We're going to come into our malasana squat pose. So step or float the feet outside of the hands. Once again, join your palms, press the thumb knuckles against the center of the chest. If your heels are lifted, you might want to support underneath with blocks. And if you feel super uncomfortable here, feel free to pop some blocks underneath your sit bones. Staying connected to the breath, maybe close down your eyes in here. Finding again that space into the groin, space into the hips. Gently pressing the arms against the legs might allow you to find a little bit more space in here. Good, we've got two more breaths. Okay, from there we're going to find our way out. We're going to take a vinyasa. So two options. Some of us might place the hands down onto the mat and simply step the feet back taking it through your chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Some of us might want to have a little play with coming into a crow pose. So same, you place your hands down onto the mat, spread your fingers nice and wide. From there, you start to lift your hips slightly. You bring your knees high as you can onto the back of your arms. You start to shift the crown of the head forward. Maybe you stay there. Maybe you squeeze the heels in, take an inhalation. Exhale, you take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, we all meet in a downward facing dog. Take an inhalation and an exhalation. Moving on to the left side. Inhale, send your left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your left knee towards your left armpit. Shift the weight forward, press the ground away. Inhale, re-extend. Take that left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Come to your high lunge. The right heel stays lifted. And we stay in here for a couple of breaths. Reaching high. Pressing the ground away from you with that left foot. Gently drawing the inner thighs together. Take one more lovely breath here. And then start to open out into your warrior two. So grounding the outside edge of your right foot parallel to the back of the mat. Again, both thighs spiral open. Tailbone lengthens down towards the ground. Breathing here. Drawing the belly button towards the spine, closing those lower ribs. Each breath, you might find a little bit more space into your warrior two. Without forcing, allow yourself to really honour how your body feels today. We've got one more breath here. Next inhalation, straighten up that left leg. Maybe shift your right foot in slightly. Make your stance a little bit narrower. Reach long with the left arm. Lengthen through the left side. Maybe just pause there for a moment. Really stabilize and lengthen. And then as you exhale, left hand releases down. Right hand reaches high. Again, you might support underneath that left hand with a block. Really allow your chest to rotate, lengthening through the side ribs. Legs are strong and active, feet are firmly grounded. Breathing here, one more lovely breath. And then use your next inhalation to come all the way up. Raise your arms, adjust your feet so heels turn in, toes turn out. Exhale, bend your knees, find your goddess pose, gently pressing your thumb knuckles to the center of the chest. We're going to find some movement this time in our goddess pose. So bring your hands down onto your thighs, thumbs face in, fingers face out. 
gently press down and spiral out. Take an inhalation and then as you exhale, drop your right shoulder towards the left, straighten that right arm. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale, drop your left shoulder towards the right. Start to find a flow, inhale, come to center. Exhale, drop your right shoulder to the left. And again, inhale, center. Exhale, drop your left shoulder to the right. One more time each side, inhale to center. Exhale, drop the right shoulder to the left. Inhale. Exhale, drop the left shoulder to the right. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, join the palms, goddess. Inhale, lift up slightly through the hips. Exhale, take your skandasana to the right, bending the right leg. Keep the left leg nice and straight. Using the strength of the legs, you can use your hands if you need. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, side lunge, skandasana to the left. Flex that right foot. Press the right heel into the ground. Maybe stay here, palms together. Maybe left hand goes out to the side. Inhale, right hand reaches high. You rotate the chest. You can stay here, or maybe you take that bind, wrapping the arms behind you, drawing that right shoulder back and down. Keep lifting up through the chest, breathing here. Whichever variation you are in, stay connected to the breath. Keep that right leg nice and active. Keep the left foot grounded. Breathing here, one more breath. And then releasing any binds or any variations. Bring your palms back together. Start to turn your body to frame your left foot. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Step back to your high plank. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Once more in your downward facing dog, bend your knees, step or float your feet outside of your hands. We come once more into that malasana, that squat pose. So join your palms to begin with. Gently press the thumb knuckles to the center of the chest. Keep lifting up through the chest. Maybe you find a little bit more space this time around. Again, use your props as required. If you are quite open in the hips and you find your sit bones are coming quite close to the ground naturally, maybe see how it feels to lift up the hips a little bit higher, starting to work a little bit more into the glutes. Stay connected to the breath wherever you are. We're gonna stay three more beautiful breaths in here. Last breath. And then once again, let's start to move through that vinyasa of your choice. So again, it might be you place your hands down, you step or you float back and you make your way towards your downward facing dog. You might wanna have again another little play with that crow pose. So bringing your knees high up to the backs of your arms. And maybe for today, you just have a play with possibly lifting one foot, releasing, lifting the other until eventually you feel confident to start to lift both feet, squeeze your heels in, inhale, exhale, take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. We all meet in the same place, this downward facing dog. Take a deep inhalation through the nose, exhale. Take one more inhalation and exhale. From there, bend your knees, look forward, step or float through to seated. Landing the sit bones onto the mat, bring together the soles of your feet. Draw your heels in nice and close towards you. Bring your thumbs into the center of the feet and gently draw the feet open like a book. The outer edges of the feet press together. Take an inhalation to lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, start to hinge forward from the hips. So keep the length through the spine. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. So drawing the shoulder blades down and just come into a forward fold. You don't need to have your 
head coming down onto the ground because we want to at the moment maintain this length through the spine breathing here in through the nose out through the nose you might gently press the elbows onto the inner thighs that might give you a little bit more space let's take two more breaths in here inhaling you can lengthen exhale maybe there's a little bit more space available for you last breath here deep inhalation and exhale from there as you inhale slowly come back up to center with your first two fingers and thumbs take hold of your big toes start to shift your weight back and start to slowly extend your legs out to the sides you might keep the legs bent we want to straighten the arms and then start to think about straightening the legs if holding the toes is too much you can hold your ankles you can take hold of the calves the back of the knees work into the space that feels good for you we want to maintain length through the spine drawing the belly button towards the spine to stabilize through the core See if you can start to shift your gaze up towards the ceiling. You're drawing your toes towards you, but at the same time, imagine you want to point your feet. So pushing the toes away from you. See how that really allows you to activate through the legs. Let's take one more beautiful breath here. And then nice and slowly start to draw the legs together. If possible, keep on holding onto the toes. Draw the legs together, draw the chest and thighs together. Make yourself into a little V-shape without letting your legs drop. Release, point your toes, extend your arms, coming into a high Navasana. Take a breath here, internally rotate the thighs. From there, cross your shins, draw your knees in close, place your feet down, place your hands down, step or float back, take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog for the last time. Bend your knees, step or float through to seated once again. Extend your legs in front of you. Bring the feet hip distance or maybe a little bit wider. You might sit up onto a block or a cushion if you kind of feel like you're falling backwards. Finding a position that feels good for you. Let the legs be soft, let the feet be relaxed. And then we're gonna very slowly just melt into a forward fold here. So no need to hold the toes or the feet. No need to try to bring the chest or the torso all the way down. We wanna find softness here. So as you arrive into your forward fold, maybe you support underneath your forehead with your blocks or your cushions. Close down your eyes if it feels good. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Open up your mouth, exhale. One more time, inhale deeply through your nose. And then gently seal your lips. But let go of any conscious breath control. Let go of that gentle contraction at the back of your throat. And just allow the breath to be whatever it needs to be. Taking a few moments in this forward fold just to slow down, to ground your energy. To settle. Notice how your body feels now. Start to invite a softening, a dissolving of any, any tension, any tightness, anything you don't need. Gently stretching through the hamstrings at the back of the legs. Maybe you also feel a stretch through the muscles that run alongside the spine. We'll stay a couple of more moments in here. Very slowly, start to roll yourself up out of your forward fold. Popping any props over to one side. Slowly, slowly, slowly start to come on up. Come to lie down onto your back. 
and gently draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself the best hug. Maybe take some little gentle rocks from side to side to massage the lower back. And then pause for a moment with the knees at the centre. Take your arms out to the sides and drop your knees over to the left. Coming into a reclining twist. Maybe you slide your hips and your upper body over to the right. And we're just going to take a few breaths here. Finding space through the right side body, the right outer hip and thigh. Gently drawing your right shoulder down towards the ground to help you find that space. Keep that breath soft, natural. Maintain your awareness. In this moment, what's going on with your physical body? What's going on with your mind, your emotions? Very slowly start to bring your knees back towards the centre. Take a moment to pause and reset, hug the knees in, maybe take those few little gentle rocks from side to side. And then knees come to centre, arms go out to the sides. Take your twist over to the second side, drop your knees over to the right. Maybe slide your hips and your upper body over to the left. Let that left shoulder be drawn down towards the ground. Find your stillness. Feel that space through the left side body, the left outer hip and thigh. Breathing, feeling, observing and studying. And then once again, slowly bring your knees back to the center. Reset, take those rocks if it feels good. And then as you feel ready, start to make your way towards your Shavasana of choice. So you might simply extend your legs and stay lying onto your back. You might prefer to come to lie onto your side or onto your front. You might like to take your legs up the wall, coming into Viparita Karani. Find your Shavasana in a way that feels good for you. Close down your eyes, let your breath soften, let your body relax. And take this next couple of minutes to really just rest. Each soft breath, gently, kindly nourishing the body. Allowing your body to be held by the mat, by the ground, by the earth. If you feel that you would like to spend a little bit longer in your Shavasana today, then please feel free to do so. If you do feel like you're ready to come on out, then start to bring a little bit of movement into your body. Whatever feels good for you, moving fingers, toes, wrists, ankles. Maybe you take a stretch, inhaling as you lengthen. Exhale as you release. Draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. Take a moment wherever you find yourself just to settle your energy. And then from wherever you are, start to slowly make your way back towards a comfortable seated position. So coming back to the place where we started. Finding a comfortable seat, grabbing a block if you need, grounding through your sit bones and gently lengthening 
from the ground all the way up through to the crown. Rest your hands comfortably, close down your eyes and let yourself be still. Take a couple of moments to, to see, to observe, to feel how you're leaving your practice space today. How does your body feel? How is the breath? Where is the mind? Join together your palms, bring your thumbs to lightly rest at the center of the chest and just take a moment to, to remind yourself of your intention, whatever that intention was. Just take a moment to reflect, to honor that intention. And then take a moment to remind yourself of the person or the people that you, that you dedicated your practice to today. Sending love and sharing with that person or people the energy that you've cultivated today through your movements, your breath, your intention. And let's close all together with a soft om. Take a deep inhale. Oh. Gently lift the thumb knuckles to the center of the forehead and slowly come into a forward fold, placing your hands to the earth, giving thanks to the earth. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed the class. And I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day.